Hi, beautiful people. It's Wonderful Wednesday. I'm April Roll, your ER doctor online, and today is the first Wednesday of 2021, and it is the first update to my garden for the year. I'm so excited. First of all, I got my zits in, if you can see, so my mood is right, I'm feeling energized, my mindset is right for the year in order to, um, I'm going to be working on my personal and professional goals. Um, you know, every day is a new day. It's not about a new year's resolution for me, but it is about being better every day, setting goals and working hard to achieve those goals every single day. Cause every single day is a new opportunity to be better and do better. Okay. So anyway, if you're returning to my channel, thank you for joining me. I've decided to call it grow some food series, okay? And if you're new to my channel, every first Wednesday of the month, I take you through my backyard where I show you um, and give you an update to what's happening with the food that I'm growing in my backyard. So if you are interested in hearing and seeing all about the food in my backyard, the plants in my backyard, then stay tuned. So first, I apologize for the people who are um, cutting the grass up front, but this is just a quick overview of the entire backyard that I'm going to do. I'm first going to start over here where I have my ginger, lemongrass, aloe, and turmeric and give you a picture of that. Let me just do this quickly because they're right over here. We've got my ginger plants, my lemongrass, some more ginger, and you can see the ginger down there growing, my aloe, and my turmeric here. I have some sugar cane in the back. Um, to show you my trees, I have a soursop tree, which is this tall one a sapodilla, a dwarf mango, a mulberry that has lost all of its leaves, but they're gonna come back, a Barbados cherry tree in the back there, and a star fruit tree. So let me give a quick update on the soursop tree. So I showed you this last time, guys, here. So I have discovered that this little bud here was in fact a soursop that was trying to grow and so was this one that i showed you guys last time so as you can see the soursop is no longer there i saw some ants on it so i don't know if they completely devoured the soursop that was growing but it's no longer there and um i'm kind of sad about that <laughs> So up here, let me give you an update. Um, here we've got the mama banana tree, which as I told you last time, after separating the pup, which is here, the pup is doing well because it has a new leaf since I showed you and a new one that's coming out there. But the mama banana tree is still in some shock because I'm not really sure what's going on here with this new leaf as you can see there's some it's struggling there and i feel like the leaves are backing up in here so i don't know if i should cut this off or what but i'll i'll let you know how that's going in the next video here oh let's go here first this is my um okinawan purple potato it has not um sprouted any leaves yet but i'm still hopeful about that here is my fig tree that is doing nicely. And here's an update on my air layering. I don't really see any roots in it yet um, coming out through the bag. So I'm going to keep this on here. I'll put that foil back on it and I'll give you an update next week. Here we have my sweet potato, the Korean sweet potato. So those are still growing nicely. And over here, I told you guys last month in December 
that I created a trellis out of some 4x16, um, two 4x16 panels, um, cattle panels, and I kind of just put them together with some zip ties and some garden stakes, and it's, it's doing nicely. So I'm going to show you over here to my torpedo pots that's they're kind of like a set and forget situation where you pretty much connect a water hose to them um turn the dial on the bottom and you pretty much plant your stuff and leave it and you don't have to have to do any um you know real upkeep to it so um to update you this is my sea grape plant that is growing these are my peppers. My Scotch bonnet pepper is putting on some amazing growth after planting it in this pot. And the California bells, um, they're there. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how their journey goes. Next, we've got the tomato. Um, it actually is coming through. Because as you can see over here, um, well, actually, it kind of fell off, I guess, but the dead branch is gone, and this new growth is doing quite well. I'm very, very happy about that. There's the basil that I put in there. Here are my collard greens. I called them cauliflower last time. Those are gorgeous. <laughs> and here is my kale. I have lots of kale over here coming out of here um here is my cucumber plant and cucumber is like the summer so as i said these were already planted so it's kind of like an experiment and we have some stuff going on here but i'm not really you know expecting much from the cucumber plant because like i said it's, it's getting cold and they don't like that here is guys <laughs> i have an okra i actually have an okra on the tree like guys the poor little plant has fallen over because there is an okra on the tree now for the rest of the plants in here um these two are poblano pepper plants this is a banana pepper plant this, I believe, is a California bell pepper plant, and something ate the scotch bonnet pepper, so it's not, no longer there. Here is my another Korean sweet potato um, that's growing up just how I told you guys I wanted it to do. And look at what we have here. This gorgeous beauty on my Korean sweet potato plant so gorgeous okay now quickly here's my avocado tree here is my grapefruit tree and that's all i'm gonna show you for out here because my sugar apple back there not much is happening it to it um so i'm going to come back out just to show you another quick view of the backyard and then I'm gonna go inside. So here's another surprise. I've started an indoor greenhouse where I've upgraded my Royal Verano pears into, I took them out of the little, <laughs> the little um, water bottles that I had them, them growing in and they're doing quite nicely in here. Um, and I got some other things in there, you know. See my grow lights? I've I've got some cilantro that just started growing and they have some true leaves on them. Um, I've got some scallions growing. Um, let me real quick take a quick time to shout out my sorority sister and her husband. They gave some seeds at the wedding and I can't wait to plant that. So that'll be in next months of video whatever those are i don't know so it'll be a surprise to me and to you we got some rosemary growing there we've got some sage growing there we've got some thyme the little thyme starting to grow there 
and we've got some dill that hasn't started growing yet. So yes, that is my indoor greenhouse. Okay guys, so that is the update to my backyard and my new indoor greenhouse. I'm so excited about these herbs, guys. I'm probably gonna put some more herbs in there now that I see that they are thriving well in the indoor greenhouse. I'm so happy that you guys have shared this wonderful Wednesday with me and you have checked out my Grow Some Food series. I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday. If you like this video, if you learned anything from this video, please share it. If you have any comments, because y'all, I'm still an, a beginner gardener. If you have any comments for um, any tips for my backyard or any tips for any specific plants or any of my herbs or my greenhouse garden, um, please place them below. If you have any questions that you want me to answer about growing food, planting, being a beginner planting, planner, gardener, um, my new indoor greenhouse, uh, please post those questions below as well. But again, please, or please, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful Wednesday. Be blessed and stay healthy.